Hi everybody, um, this should be part 18 in the uh, little series that I'm trying to do. I have not uploaded any footage in a very, very long time, and I'm sorry about that. The reason being for me doing that is because I kind of ran out of money at some point. It was, uh, you know, mid-December, getting some shopping done, uh, spending more on other people than I would normally do. So... But right in the middle of December, I got a new job, and I'm making close to twice the amount of money I was making before. So money should not be too much of a problem anymore. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'm going to be replacing. For example, uh, this is the DC power supply that I've been using. It puts out 150 watts. I decided I wanted to see if I could try something a little more powerful, so... I got this. This is a DC power supply. It's about 350 watts. I'm probably not going to use all 350 though. Just letting you know. Um, but I do think I'm going to be using more than 150, so I decided to switch to something a little more powerful. Um, this, you might recognize, is the small aluminum heat sink I was going to use for the bottom of my you know, assembly, and I uh, decided that, that I was initially using two Peltier units on this, right? Well, I decided I'm going to use probably something closer to four, maybe even six Peltier units this time. So I went from something this size to something this size. This is going to be the aluminum heat sink I'm going to be putting on the bottom. Now, I'm not going to use the entire thing. This whole thing weighs about 8 or 9 pounds. What I might do is I'm going to take a hacksaw to it and cut the exact size I need out of it. Now, that's, that's some pretty thick metal I'm going to be cutting through, but if I had something better than a hacksaw, I'd use it, but right now a hacksaw is my only option. So I'm going to be using that to see if I can cut through this son of a bitch. This thing's pretty big. Um, I'm going to be using this on the bottom. Um, I might use some of the parts that I trim off of this to put on the top as well, and that doesn't make sense right now <clears throat> because I haven't explained to you what I'm going to be doing. I, I am now a firm believer in water cooling. I'm going to be cooling the hot part of my thermoelectric units with a water block used to cool hard drives and computers. I <coughs> recently just ordered this. It's a Coolant HD60 is the name of this item. It's It's got the about the amount of surface area I need to put in anywhere between four and six thermoelectric units that I'm using. Each unit is 40, milli, 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters and um, the entire surface area of this thing is somewhat, is like about 170 by 80. So that's enough for me to fit in six thermoelectric units. And since I can, that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Um, it all depends on how, how much surface area I can get out of this lid here on this uh, igloo cooler thing. If I can fit that many, I will. If not, oh well. I'll use four instead of six. But, um, yeah, that's going to be a water block. I'm going to be, you know, running water through it to cool off the hot side. Now, that water, the biggest problem I'm having right now, and I had this problem weeks ago, if not a month ago, I'm looking for a radiator or a condenser coil. Uh, radiators, they're, they're basically the same thing. A radiator is what you put in a car. A condenser coil is uh, used in air conditioners. But they're the same. They're pretty much the same thing, uh, just different dimensions and things like that. So, when if I'm going to find this, I'm probably going to be able to find it at a scrap metal shop. Um, I'm going to see if I can take some of this old metal that I have that I'm not using anymore. I'm going to see if I can sell it to them. I also have about four or five trash bags full of crushed aluminum cans. I'm going to see how much money I can get out of that. And hopefully I'll be able to get a trashed radiator. And if I can find one that works, I can possibly fix it, run water through it, and cool 
the heat sink of this thing. I'm also going to be using um, some water pumps. This is a little, you know, you plug this into an outlet and it pumps water. It's designed for aquariums, but it pumps about 99 gallons per minute, so, or gallons per hour, or something like that, but it ought to, it ought to really, yeah, it, it ought to do what I need it to do. I'm going to be using one half inch tubing. I have before been using one eighth inch tubing to pump the water through. And uh, with with all this combined, I think I'm really, really going to make this work. It's kind of worked in the past, but when you consider the fact that I'm going to be using something that's twice as powerful for the voltage, a heat sink that's about, you know, 50 times bigger than this, and I'm going to be using water cooling as opposed to just air cooling as I was before, this thing ought to get pretty goddamn cold, and that's what I'm after. Um, once again, if anybody has a window unit, air conditioning unit that they know of that's just been trashed and they don't want any more, or if anybody has a radiator that they're just, just, just laying around, uh, let me know. I'm going to see if I can get some money for it. I'll, I'll be able to fork over a little bit for it. And, uh, that's really all I've got right now. This is, let's see, it's December 20th, and I'm still working on stuff. Bye.